Hey Rockstar, welcome to another episode of Book Discussions. My name is Queen Rafi and this is my podcast Queen Rafi Space and for today's episode I'll be talking about the book Falta by Mutia Badreddin. This book was actually first published in um, 2003 and it was known as Faltering Steps. It was the first published work that Mutia Badreddin put out there. It was a novella and she repurposed the book and put it out again I think in 2022. I really, really enjoyed reading this book. I mean, I always enjoy reading anything. Anything that Mutia Badruddin puts out there, I enjoy reading it. I find it somehow calling just her name because she's like a big sister to me. I enjoy reading anything that Mutia Badruddin puts out there, to be honest. You guys know how much I raved on this podcast about Reiki and Z. I'm going to put that um, book discussion episode for you in the description so you can go listen to it because Reiki and Z is a book that everybody in this life needs to read. So let's talk about Falta. Falta is a novel, or should I say a novella, and it is surely a great gift to give to any young Muslim that you know, you know. It's a book that tells the story of Yewande Ayoade, who is a Muslim girl who, despite having the quote-unquote soft life, is quite dissatisfied and decides to seek a deeper meaning of life. One thing I love about how Mutia writes is how she writes about women and how she writes about female friendship, and how she writes about sisterhood. So you see a lot of aunties playing a role, you see a lot of sister-in-laws and, you know, younger sister-in-laws, nieces, you know, playing a very vital role in most of our books, and I love that, right? The book covers the theme of family ties, values, friendship, Islam, growing as a teenager into understanding what the religion is about and how to practice it better. And I also like one thing, And it's the fact that she writes about Islam unapologetically. That's another thing that I really, really love about when Mutia Badrujin writes. And in this book, she writes it so well from the angle of a young adult that is really struggling to just understand themselves. One thing is sure, whether you're born in a Muslim home that is a practicing Muslim home or the one that is not exactly a practicing Muslim home, at some point in life, we all tend to find Islam for ourselves. And that's the kind of journey that Yuande Ayoade goes in this particular book. One thing that is also very important is that Mutia never fails to bring the thought of death to her books. And it's because death is the one thing that is very constant in this life. We are all going to go through it. And she reminds you that life is short and thus one cannot delay repentance and returning to Almighty Allah as soon as possible. As a Muslim, you would thoroughly enjoy reading this book and I hope that it would give you an insight that helps you to move closer to Almighty Allah, to discover him again and even if you've discovered him, to discover him even more. And if you have a young adult, you know, in your life or a young teenager or even somebody in their young 20s who you would really love to gift a book to or who you know that is a reader and is a young Muslim, I think this book would definitely be a very good gift to give to them. It is such an amazing read. I enjoyed reading it. I loved it. I can't wait for Mutia Badruddin to write something else. Calling her Mutia all through this episode was hard because that's my big sis. (laughs) That's my big sis, but it is what it is. Thank you for writing, sis, and I cannot wait to read something more. Pick up Falta and you would enjoy it. And also read her other book, Rekia and Z. It holds a space in my heart. And I'll link the book discussion episode for that one as well in the link for you to listen to. Thank you so much for listening to this episode and thank you, Mutia Badruddin, for writing. Please, write another book soon. Thank you.